103.8. John, Hi lovely to meet you. My name is Gordon. Hi, Gordon. Where are you um, from? I'm from Dublin. Oh, so, John, I believe they the got... Rubber bandits. Oh, yeah, the rubber bandits. Have you seen the film? I've seen it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't even believe they were in it. Oh, and, and also... Yeah, Dad's best friend, and it even features in the movie. How did you discover them, John? There was an article in the Guardian, the best songs about Ireland. A, the Guardian is this sort of strand of best songs about this, the best songs about Ireland. And someone had recommended "My Lovely Horse," which is a brilliant song, which, you know, Ireland's national anthem, right? And then below that, someone had commented, "Oh, if you like that, you should you should read Horse Outside." And I never heard this, and then I started watching it. I watched it over and over, and I didn't realize it passed me by six years ago, whenever it was, five years ago. And I went from Horse Outside side to the rest and I came across, when I came across dad's best friend I thought yeah that's what that's what this film's about and I said Danny you should look at this and he looked at it and he felt exactly the same I mean the actors and Ewan and uh, si uh, John Lee Miller thought the same as well so that's how I ended up in the film. I believe as well John it was almost like a big brother experience yourself Danny Irvin your producers all together in the one house but the whole plan was by all accounts to light a fire under you yes. to get this script in somewhat say how, <laughs> how difficult there's a lot of pressure to try and crack this story. Yeah, no, it's, it's terrible. I mean, it's, you just sat there and you're thinking, well, what happens? I mean, I'm not complaining, it's my job and I enjoy it. But uh, with this, you know, with the weight of the first film and the characters, and you think, oh, what are they doing? But eventually, what happened was it's, it's about language and characters and the one and the language that Irvin generated with these characters. So, get, get, if I read a book often enough, it gets into my head. And then I start imitating it. And I find out that. And you're watching the first film a few times and just get that. that that language going again and once they start talking it's like the scenes right themselves I can just imagine Ren Renton and Simon arguing and it just there it is on the page you know so. how long did then that, that initial first draft then take John as a matter of interest well I was a few months of doing nothing you know really just making no progress at all now I probably wrote it in about a month yeah but then you know, the, the, but the other months when I'm not doing anything they count as well you know in fact I would say that the years when I wasn't working on count a bit as well, you know, so... Do you want me asking, John, if this goes as well as everyone hopes it, it will, yeah. and bearing in mind we've had 20 no. years, you see where I'm going with this? Do you, do you think, though, is there mileage? Bearing in mind we have had the Blade Artist, the spin-off, yeah, yeah. and also where Spud's story goes, there's such a sense of hope for him. There's, yeah. there, there's an element of hope for all of them. Yeah, yeah. Do you think we could, maybe, third time outing? As I say, to, I just do what I'm told. Yeah. <laughs> That's a diplomatic answer yeah, yeah, all yeah. in all, John. Yeah. But i tell you something, just for the rubber bandits, when you think about how the, the first soundtrack yeah. propelled artists yeah, yeah. like Underworld. Yeah. It is going to open up the rubber bandits to a whole new audience. Are, are the lads even here? Are they even aware of how much attention they're going to get in this movie? I, I hope they are. I mean, they deserve it. I mean, yeah, if it opens them up to a new audience, that's great. I mean, they deserve it. I hope they're here. I don't know if they're still wearing the spar bags. I'm not sure. <laughs> Oh, I love them. Bag of glue. I love that. <laughs> a bag for me, a bag for you. Let's all get wrecked on bags of glue. And know? finally, finally, John, uh, just before I let you go to go and enjoy your premiere, what is next for you? Have you got an idea of what you'd like to do? Well, like any scriptwriter, I work on lots of projects at once, most of which will never see the light of day, and that's just life. So the real, one of the privileges for me is to work on a film where there's interest. You don't have to kind of make the film and then you know, people flogging their guts out trying to get journalists such as yourself to come and see it. You know, there's a, there's a journalist there's interest in the media, there's an interest in an audience, and I, you know, there's hope we deliver for it, so we'll see. Oh, but John, listen, so happy to have you boys all back together again. It's an absolute thrill. Thank you so much for your time. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Spin. 103.8.